Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about figure skating like it is drama for our mamas on today's episode. Hi everyone, I really want to be able to make more figure skating videos, but unfortunately, I have so much work, so much work. Oh my God, adulthood is the worst hood. It is so ghetto. I want to get back to childhood so badly. I actually Googled childhood the other day and Google told me take a left on student loan, make a right on food bill, and you'll end up at utility and rent avenue. I was like, there's no way to go back to childhood. But anyhow, I'm so happy that the figure skating season has officially started with the start of the Junior Grand Prix. Now, before I even get started about the Junior Grand Prix, guys, you know, I need to take a moment to have some feelings. Now, I really wanted to watch at least three of the Junior Grand Prix to see how exactly these new criterias um, were going to be judged, how they were going to be integrated into figure skating as we know it. And after watching three Grand Prix, I kind of sort of not really have an idea of what I think is going on. Um, but before I even get to the actual, actual judging, I want to have a moment to have some feelings. Now, we took out the step sequence in the long program for the juniors and we added a choreographic sequence. Now, this is to be the highlight of the program. This is where the skaters go out, they express themselves. This, this is the moment where we like, wow, it's all coming together. It's supposed to be joyous or passionate or strong, whatever it's supposed to be. This is to be the central, the center, the central focal point of the program. Yet all of these choreographers are out here just phoning it in. You guys are literally phoning it in. You are cutting and pacing. Everybody's doing the same Billman, the same spread eagle, the same leap. You guys are literally cutting and pacing the same choreo sequence. Where is the love for your art? Where is the dedication? Because I know figure skating programs are not cheap. I know these kids are paying you guys good money just for you guys to lazy about and cut and pace that choreo sequence. Now, the only thing that's giving me hope is because I know later on when we get to the seniors, we're going to have the Jason Browns, the Wakaba really short showing us what the choreo sequence is supposed to look like. So I'm looking forward to that. But as of right now, as for the junior ladies, as for the junior men, as for the pairs, as for the ice dance that I have seen, I have to say, choreographers, please have a little more pride in your art. Have a little more love for your art because you guys are really just lazying about and phoning it in. And it, it's not necessary. These kids deserve better. Now for the actual skating. So this is me recapping the 2022-2023 figure skating season so far, starting with pairs. Now, as expected, pairs is the discipline that suffered the most from the absence of the Russian team. However, rather than seeing this as a problem, I think this is a great opportunity. Before, many teams had no chance at a medal or a title when it came to international competition. And this was even if they skated their best. I feel like as a result, many of these teams, whether it be in pairs or in seniors, literally were just phoning it and like they didn't have any stock in the competition. However, now with the absence of the Russian teams, I think these pairs really have a chance of not only getting medals, but actually winning titles. I think once these skaters get used to international competition and the feeling of winning and meddling, they're not going to give that up once the Russians return to international competition. I think these skaters are going to put up as much as a fight as possible. I think it might look bad now, but 
by the time the next Olympic cycle come, we're going to have a lot of countries with young pair team that are going to be competitive on the junior Grand Prix level. Teams who got a lot of experience, who got a lot of exposure, who got a lot of attention. And I feel like we just need to give that time, that space, that room for these teams to grow, to make mistakes. Because we have to remember the Russian pairs program is century, is like decades old. Russia has been a pair powerhouse for decades. So we can't expect these new teams to instantly catch up with Russia. I think if we give them the room and the time, they will eventually catch up. And I feel like while the the pairs are doing their part, I think it's important that we as the audience, we as the fans, put pressure on the ISU, put pressure on the IOC, IOC, demanding that they have more funding for WADA. Every skater should have to provide blood, urine, and hair. I'm talking about bah. Blood, urine, and hair at every competition. We need the technology that can test the samples going back a year. We have to discourage the federations from drugging their athletes, especially when those athletes are children. As for now, I think pairs in junior and senior is in a rebuilding period. But even during that rebuilding period, we still see little sparks of hope, like Sophia Barham and um, Danielle Tutamishkev and Carla Smith and Andy Deng. I feel like these pairs are laying the foundation for what they'll be when they go into senior. And I was especially happy to see the young Japanese pair of Haruna um, Murakami and Sudada Muguchi. I feel the fact that Japan is now investing in pairs, not just their senior pairs, but also now this junior pair is amazing. Because if Japan start investing in pairs, you know eventually South Korea is going to start investing in pairs team too. Why? Because as the Olympics continue and there continues to be the team competition, more and more country or more and more countries are gonna want to have solid teams to try to get that team medal. So even though right now pairs seem empty and hollow, I still still I still see potential and I think this is a great building block. What about you guys? What do you think will happen in pairs four years from now, eight years from now? Let me know in the comments.